This video has been made possible by a very generous gift from Apparently Awesome. Thank you so much for gifting me Aurora Skies. It really helps me out a lot. And thank you to my newest members, James and Kaiser. I really hope you all enjoy the video. This one's for you. Explore the breathtaking scenery and vast, unspoiled nature that await you at Aurora Skies. This quaint coastal town features the very best in outdoor living. Grow your family on spacious land and houses surrounded by an eco-friendly community. Trapeze under majestic, towering waterfalls that come to rest on the banks of a large, steaming geothermal lake, or take a night hike under the dome of the bright, multicolored sky. It's the ultimate getaway for Sims searching for change, searching for themselves, or searching for a piece of peace. What will you find at Aurora Skies? What's up guys, Rakowski here, and today we are judging and rating all of the builds in Aurora Skies. Before we get started, please don't forget to like this video, and if you enjoy videos that show the beauty and fun of the older Sims games, especially The Sims 3, then please hit the subscribe button as well. All of your support has been really helping out the channel, so thank you so much. Also, keep an eye on my community tab where you can vote on which world you want to see next. Okay, with that out of the way, let's get into the video. Honestly, I don't even know how to start this, so let's just like take in the scenery. I love the river, I love the waters, I even love like the shoreline there with a the little bit of white. I think it's very pretty. What's up guys, welcome to Aurora Skies. I think right off the bat I want to appreciate the landscaping, I want to appreciate the terrain, I think it's so beautiful. And I'm not usually a fan of green worlds if you know what I mean. I usually like desert or even like lunar lakes is like a different planet or something. And yes, right away I can say this is my absolute favorite green world in The Sims 3 by far. It's a good thing we start off with the positives because with Aurora Skies, the builds are actually quite colorful and basic from what I've seen and from what I've heard. I've definitely played in Aurora Skies like a few times. I've kind of like hung out with my own Sim in like her own house. I didn't visit many neighbors. I've, I've, I think I visited one neighbor house. So I do have like a little bit of pre-exposure to this, but for the most part, I've just seen the exteriors and we see a lot of red. That's actually why I wore red today. And we see a lot of squares. So we may have have to depend a lot on the insides for these ones. I'd also like to briefly mention that this is loosely based on Iceland and this style of house is actually quite realistic. It isn't like it's ugly or like EA style or anything. They have lots of like colorful like little square houses usually two stories tall with gabled roofs and I'm seeing a lot of that already. I guess that's all I really want to say. Let's jump in and see what our first family house looks like. My goodness. First up we have Heirs End. Honestly I have no idea if I said that word correctly. I think this might be one one of those episodes I kind of like how we're used to. Now looking at the shape, like I said, colorful and square. Well, I guess this is a rectangle. Now the one thing I will mention is that the windows appear to be in perfect symmetry. There may be 80 of them, but at least they line up like really nicely and like I'd be really, oh no, the door. Sorry, I just noticed the one door is slightly off, but you know what? It's at the back and I can forgive it. The backyard is actually very pretty as well. I always like a little bit of an outdoor space because I find myself like I always get stuck in my house in The Sims 3 and if I just go into my backyard sometimes you see somebody walking by. But yes this is actually like a realistic typical style of house and I think they did like a really good job. I think they picked a really good purple. I think a bright purple house with a metal roof would have looked absolutely ugly in a lot of other circumstances. So let's jump in. Oh my god it's three stories. Let's see. Ooh, I love this. Look at this little color palette. I think it's very nice and warm and like if the outside is supposed to be like on the colder side I like having like a warm feeling entryway and living room. I think it's beautiful. Look at this bathroom. It's so my style. I absolutely love it. It's a little bit big, but you know what? So is the house. And in The Sims 3, they get clogged up a bit, so I don't mind a little extra square footage. Actually, the kitchen is nice too. I like how they do like the wood paneling on the back instead of tile. That might be something interesting too, because these are kind of cabin-y style, so I think it really works. And they have a little bar. Oh, it's so European. I love it. Let's go upstairs. Ooh, look at this. I love this like decoration. All these colors. I love every single one of these colors. I love how they shine. I love how like it's just like it looks like they have the whole collection of something, you know, love this bathroom too. I've seen zero bathtubs and I'm fine with no bathtubs as long as I have a shower, right? But like I don't like just having a bathtub little office room. I love, you know what? They actually use like some really nice base game stuff that goes with some of the new items because I don't recognize
recognize like this shelf. I don't recognize the fireplace or like this seating area or anything. And th they really did a good job. Look how harmonious this is. Like, let's go up here. Each bedroom has its own personality. Neither is super ugly. This one's kind of like the angel. Oh, she wants a baby. And then this one's like the devil. She probably wants boyfriends. Oh my God. One wants to be a heartbreaker and one wants to be a gold digger. Oh, that's so nice. Okay. You know what? I'm feeling the whole vibe. I don't really know what else to say. I didn't think I was in a particularly good mood when I started this. And now that I've kind of gotten into it, this house has just brightened my day. I don't know how else to explain it. The inside is exquisite. It suits the Sims. It kind of suits the style. And I know it's just like a basic boring shape, but if we're not going to give a 10 because of the shape, then none of these houses are going to get it. I'm starting off with a 10. I'm blown away. It was so pretty. Like just looking through it, it's like it has just the right amounts of color, right amounts of neutrals, and like the wood just works throughout. I think it's gorgeous. So well done. Next up is Caring Co-op. Oh, I love how they're sticking with the symmetry. This is absolutely beautiful. Now this color palette, I don't like as much. I don't like the orange with the yellow as much, but it's, it's really just a matter of preference and taste. Like I tend to like pretty colors, not ugly ones. So I know how some people might enjoy this, like especially from EA. One bizarre thing I just noticed is that one corner of the windows is different and like they tried to make it look inconspicuous, but I noticed I'm on to you EA, I can see it. Now I'm gonna wonder if they actually have a reason for that or if they just did it for the hell of it. Once again, I love the backyard area. This pathing and landscaping detail is just amazing. Like this is really tricky for me to do even after years of experience and they do tend to make it look nice most of the time, but when they botch it, it's absolutely awful. Okay, I'm gonna try to be less passive aggressive as we jump inside, let's see. Okay, so this is very similar to the other house. Well, not really in floor plan, just kind of like more in style, right? Like I notice like the same living chairs and stuff, but the colors are really not for me. I unfortunately have to turn on the lights to see. Yeah, that's exactly what I thought. It's a weird kind of 70s orange, which really isn't my style, but that's okay. Let's, let's see what else they chose. This dining room is actually really pretty. It reminds me of Roaring Heights. Look at those colors. Okay, so the kitchen is fine. This is actually where those weird windows are. And I understand, I actually thought it might be the kitchen even before I peeked inside. The one thing I don't like is the brown oven and like trash compactor. Like, I mean, like they don't have to be like white or silver. Like if you want to make it a color, don't do brown, right? Like everything else is brown, it's fine. This half bathroom is very pretty though. They have a lounge chair. Again, they love their fabric lounge chairs. Whenever you buy like an expensive world from the Sims 3 store, they, they just feel like they have to give it to you. This study is kind of cramped, but interesting. Like I like how there's like a little reading corner and stuff. Hmm, I don't know. I love this bed actually. This is a very nice, pretty pink for this bedroom. I don't normally like this shade of green, but I think they tied it all really well in together. And her master bath is absolutely beautiful as well. I love the separate area for the bathtub here. Ooh, unfortunately, I don't know if this house has a shower. <laughs> it doesn't, it just has bathtubs. The other house just had showers. That's kind of interesting. Now this is a very big house. I'm already on the third floor and there's a fourth floor. It's, it's a lot of the same though. Like this house, like it doesn't, I feel like you could cut off half of it and you wouldn't even need the rest. So the idea is, is that this lady, she wants to be successful, but her son lives with his father and doesn't live with her or whatever. And she's like lazy or something. So I'm not 100% sure, but I do know that she has like a peculiar looking house. I'm glad I gave the last house a 10 because now I see that that's not what we're in store for in general. I think it's just like a worse version of the last house in every way. I'm going to give it a four. It's just not for me. I just preferred literally every other detail chosen in the other house. So I guess this really is going to come down to like those little details. Next up is chapter house. So fun fact, I actually ran downstairs to like make an iced coffee and everything. And I left like the game playing by accident. So it's been like a couple hours. The daylight is much better now. So that might work to our advantage. Anyway, that's not as important. So the idea is like the further you get away from like the city, the more cottagey the houses get and the less they are like in those square style. So this is actually kind of nice and different. It's brown, but I don't hate it. This is actually like really nice browns. They go together. The windowing is good. The roofing is good. That's very rare for EA. They even snuck a third floor up here. Like these dormers are not just for pretend. It looks like there's an actual room up here. Okay, so far so good. I don't hate it. This is kind of nice. Let's jump inside. Okay, so this blue and brown like these are not my type of colors but they go together really well in this it really looks like a little old-fashioned house i love this little half bathroom even if it is the color of p i think it's very pretty oh my god look at his face on the tv well i guess we're not really here for that so grandma over here is like working out look at her tina vinter what's her deal oh i love her she's unflirty handy and a hopeless romantic athletic and ambitious that's kind of an interesting sim i actually missed the backstory going into this house because i ran downstairs as it was loading if I see
see something peculiar, then I'll look into it further. This kitchen is nice too. I don't like open concept kitchens, but this is really well done. I like how the one wall just kind of separates into the back hall where the back door is. Going upstairs, this is great. This is like a little Simsy floor plan, which is a really good thing because she always thinks about like the efficiency. Look how the stairs kind of lead up into the middle and like everyone's kind of got their bathroom and like their beds. It's all kind of evenly spaced out. Oh, they did what I do with third floors. I usually just kind of make like a pretend third floor like this and I stick like one or two things in it and just like a way to get up. So I don't think it's a bad thing, like especially if your family is expanding, like it's good to have an extra story ready to go. You know, for like a farmhouse that's brown and like in the middle of nowhere, I really liked this one. I thought the inside was very cohesive. They used little splashes of color, but they kept everything tied together with like really nice shades of brown. I don't know, I'm gonna give it a nine. Like it's missing that wow factor, but I mean like it's also great. Like if you aren't much of a renovator, you can just kind of slap your favorite colors on it and you'd be good to go. Like this is a really good house, so well done. Next up is Coastal Condo. As we can see, it suits our regular style of a big box with a colorful roof. So I actually like this color scheme. It's not quite white. It's a little off white. Like it's kind of like a wedding dress if you have like a little dirty secret. But I do like the red that they paired it with. I think it's a very strong red. Actually, it matches my shirt. That makes sense. And this one has blessed us with a bump out detail. Look at that. The bump out's only two stories high. Ooh, and they have a balcony too. That's very interesting. And I just want to draw our attention to the Sims. So Felicia's lifetime wish is swimming in cash and Jackie's is to become a master thief. Of course they're criminals, but at least they're not Italian like in Monte Vista, right? Okay, let's jump inside. Ugh, it's kind of ugly. Okay, you know what? The only thing that's ruining the whole thing for me is the wood. The wood is not working for me. Perhaps it looks better in less lighting, but that's not really the point, right? But other than the wood, I kind of like the white walls. I kind of like it as like the trim. I just don't like it as the floor, I guess. See, like the dark kitchen is very nice. It's just thrown off by the floor once again. Looking around, they have a shower tub combo. I think it's the first house to have both my goodness it's funny to think about and I thought well they're criminals so I'll just kind of go into the basement to see if it exists and it absolutely does it looks like this is where all their stolen stuff ends up apparently they're jewelry and art thieves but I see a whole bunch of stuff down here okay going upstairs I actually really like the bedrooms I think the bedrooms are extremely pretty I love both color palettes again I just hate the flooring the bathroom is really nice too it's kind of in a similar style to the other ones I've noticed these blinds so I think these blinds might have come with Aurora skies these are gorgeous Gorgeous. I think these are amazing. I'm going to be using these in so many builds. Oh, yay. The third floor is pretend. Look, they don't even have like a floor or anything. Okay, good. So I was a little bit nervous because I'm like, how big does this house have to be really? Okay, yeah. Coming back outside, like they got their thief storyline, which is so unique to the Sims. We have the outside, which is again, similar style and shape, but at least they broke it up a little bit. I like the colors that they chose, but that wood floor kind of spoiled it. I was really thinking around an eight, but I have to bump it down to seven. Oh, well. I'm kind of hoping that they continue this style of like having like little detail changes because I don't want them all to be rectangles. I would like a little bit of extra detail. Next up is Cozy Cottage and it's being hidden by this big tree. Are they trying to hide something ugly from me? Actually, no, the front is very pretty, even like with or without the tree. I really like the shape. I like the bright red color and I love how they paired it with a black roof and white trim and windows. See how they use like different things to break it up? That's something that EA rarely does. Usually they would just pick some ugly color for the whole house and then a different ugly color for like every other detail. The windows are also very balanced and symmetrical. I feel like they're heeding our calls. Maybe people were complaining about this back then. It's on a very cute and cozy lot too. It's got a nice little outdoor space. Okay, I'm impressed so far. Let's, ju let's jump inside. Hmm, okay, so this wallpaper, I'm not sure how I feel about it. Actually, you know what? Now that I zoom in on just like the frame inside the house, I think it really works. It's not really my style, but I think it goes with a lot of the other other things in here that are not exactly my style, like these stripes, these are not something that I would normally do. Oh, there's a bathroom sink in the kitchen, but it's like a cozy little country kitchen and they're using the wood paneling as like the walling, which is fine. Ooh, a very pretty but basic bathroom. I love it. Okay, let's go upstairs. Ooh, they love these detailed wallpapers. See, this is the thing. It's more the pattern than it is the colors. I would just do something a little bit more plain in these style of houses, but I guess this is like a country cottage, so I guess they can texture it up a little bit. I do like the bedrooms. I like how it's very like kind of cramped, but not too cramped like you have just enough space for everybody very cozy it almost reminds me of like a sims 4 style house you know what i mean like a sims 4 suburban i don't know i think it was all right like for cozy cottage like that's that's really good i was a little bit afraid by the name i thought it might be like ugly and like hidden away in the swamp kind of like twin brook but this was a pleasant surprise i'm gonna give this one an eight i don't really know what else to say except i'm very impressed with their use of color i was terrified with what they were gonna do with this but so far so good i guess 
Next up is Eco Edifice. So this house is owned by Jesper and Victor, and they're not like married or anything, but I think they kind of should be. One of them adopted a daughter and now, quote, their house is filled with happiness and joy. So I don't know, maybe they have their reasons, right? Well, looking at the house, the red is a slightly different red than the last house that we saw. And in fact, it's like a little less saturated and this house is a little bigger. So I think that's kind of an appropriate choice. It looks like each red is slightly different and I think that's gonna be better on some houses and worse on others. But yeah, I love the shape. I love the roofing, simple, but like straight to the point and they didn't screw it up. So let's jump inside. Okay, so I really like this colorful living room. And in fact, even this like carpet in the dining room. Now this makes me more suspicious about these guys being gay because it is a little bit rainbowy. Oh no, it's that bookshelf I don't like. But other than that, like really nice colors. They're bright, but they're not offensive. You know, like they're not, they're not hurting me. I was going to say this kitchen is way too big, but look, it's just like actually half of it's a bathroom, right? So like this part's the kitchen, this part's the bathroom. They just use the same counter. And that's kind of realistic. Like, especially if you were building this house from scratch, like maybe you would do that. Okay. All the appliances are on the one side. I don't know how I feel about that. It's a little bit cramped up, but that's okay. Let's jump upstairs. This little girl. Oh my God. She has like the coolest room. Like I had a lime green room when I was a kid too. And like I offset it with purple because I thought pink was a little too on the nose for being gay. But for a little girl, I think it's perfect. This peach bathroom is kind of pretty too. Ew, this is ugly. Why is this ugly sitting room just in the middle of this beautiful house? My goodness. Going into the bed. Wait, do they have two bedrooms? They don't have two bedrooms. So they just have a bedroom for the little girl and one bed for the two guys. Hmm, I wonder why that is. But yes, like I just got to zoom out and just go up and down just to remind us of the wall colors and stuff. Very pretty. I thought it was very well done. Nice little story. I'm not sure why they're not married. There might be something else that I'm missing, but I think it's interesting enough. And like I said, just like mixing it up a little bit with The Sims always brings me some pleasure. So I'm going to give this house a nine. Uh, one wants to be a businessman and one wants to be a politician. Well, I guess you can be evil and gay. Next up is Forest Den. So this is actually the house that I'm slightly familiar with. I've been in here once or twice because if you look across the street, there's an empty lot, which I decided to like build my own house, of course. So this is a house that I have seen and looking at it compared to some of the other ones, I noticed that the roof color is a little different. The red is a little different. The windows are a little different. So they are making like little changes in subtle ways. And I think that's the right way to do a world like this. I think if they made every house the same red with the same roof and the same windows, it would look really old really fast. And once again, we have symmetry with the windows. Like I cannot believe it. Like this is, this is a once in a lifetime opportunity for Simmers to enjoy this because I don't know if we're ever going to see this again in the future. The landscaping is particularly pretty in this house as well. Okay, let's jump inside. Let's see what I remember. I actually don't really remember anything. Oh yes, I remember. I used this bathroom and I thought it was a little bit boring. I'm like, hmm, but at least they have a medicine cabinet and stuff, right? Like I, I like when they have like little like clutter details within bathrooms because it's a little bit more realistic than like an empty room with a toilet. I really like this red wall and I like how there's only one wall. Like they didn't do the whole room in that color. I think that was the right choice. Even this green carpet in the dining room is nice. But once again, we have dining rooms with absolutely no other furniture in them. The kitchen is kind of nice. Let's go upstairs. Actually, you know what? No, I, I want to mention something. I haven't noticed like any tile or stone. It's always been wood for the kitchen. So I would like a little bit of diversity with that. They like, th like they put tiles in the bathrooms, right? So like, why can't you put a little bit in the kitchen for me once in a while? This upstairs landing is very big, but they do make use of it. Like they put like a little, like another family space kind of thing. So it's not a complete waste of space like in some of the other worlds. And the bedrooms are all right. I do notice though that the bathrooms, they only have bathtubs. So there's no showers in this house either. I thought we were going to be rescued from that, but apparently not. There isn't much else to say, except like this family, I know that they're all about fitness and fishing, according to their biographies, two things that are not for me. And I didn't see that too, too much in this house either, right? Like you'd expect it to be like a little bit more characteristic of the Sims, but it's not a bad house. It just doesn't really impress me in any way. So I'm going to give this one a seven. It is a good spot for a fishing house though, because I was fishing back here and it was a really good place to make some money. So at least they put it in the right place. Next up is Hal Bjorn. And let the record show that I have no idea if I said that correctly at all. Now this house is not exactly colorful. It's kind of like a dark gray color, which is not necessarily a bad thing. But apparently, 
paired with a green roof, it is not for me. I think this is the ugliest house so far by a long shot, I'd say. And look at these windows. They just like started ignoring the whole symmetry thing. We're just going to stick one over here. We're going to screw up this part. Oh, look, the back is symmetrical. Why do they hide it with trees then? And then this part, like, look, like they like they could have added one more just to like make these row line up. But I don't know. Since they did such a good job other places, it's going to really bother me now. OK, I think it's best if we just jump inside and see what color choices they made there. OK, well, the inside colors are kind of nicer. The only thing I don't like is how big and empty this room is. It's very EA style, but I do like the orange wall. And again, I like how they use it as an accent color and not necessarily just drown the whole room in orange. This navy blue bathroom is actually really pretty as well. Very chic and modern. Once again, I only see a bathtub, though. Yay, a decoration table in the dining room. Well, I guess when you make it like 36 tiles, you kind of have to. OK, so this kitchen is not only very pretty. I also want to mention that like in The Sims 2 Prima Guide, they talk about like the efficiency of a kitchen going from the fridge, to the counter, to the stove, to the cleanup. And like this is the exact order that the Prima Guide says. So well done on that. These colors go really nicely together, too. I think this house is very pretty. It's just too big and empty. Like, look at this. It looks like a Strangerville house, if that makes sense. Oh, they made an uglier blue bathroom. Look at that. Like they had a nice blue bathroom here. Why do they have to make an uglier one above it? OK, let's just go up to the top. OK, another big empty room. But this guy is an athlete, so at least he has his whole like gym area, right? And he has his foosball table and his bar where he can give drinks to girls he's manipulated into liking him. That's kind of his storyline. I'm not making this up, right? Like it's kind of in his bio. OK, well, coming back out, like it's not super hideous. It's just worse than the other things that we've seen. And just like the displaced windows and the big ugly rooms kind of makes this the worst architecturally. Now, I am conflicted because those inside colors were very nice and I really enjoyed those. But as a whole, I think it's just like on the weaker side of the things that we've seen. I'm going to give it a five. It's so sad because they could have made it night. Like, honestly, if they fixed the windows and just made the roof a different color and like shrunk it down a bit, like it, it, it almost was in 10 territory, right? Like, it's just they made a lot of mistakes. Next up is Highland Home. So this house is kind of the opposite. It's got like white as the main color and red details, which is a nice way to break it up. I think it looks really pretty. And they didn't put it like next door to the similar houses. So that way, like it wouldn't look too jarring. But yeah, this is definitely more of like one of those like remote farm style houses. I love the pond in the back. I love a pond detail. I think it's very pretty. And I like how they fenced around the property because since it is so far out of the way, that is something that you would see. And I do notice the fire pit. I love fire pits in my Sims 3 houses. I don't know why. I just do love them. And I always give credit when I see one. And yeah, it looks like they even snuck in a third floor too. I'm excited. Let's jump inside. I also want to mention that the Sim here, she moved back in with her mother after her divorce, right? And like, if you go through, she actually like hates her ex-husband and stuff. Like there's lots of Sim stories and like broken home storylines and whatever floating around in this world. So I want to give credit for that before I talk about this blood red kitchen. It's actually not too, too bad. And I'm not just saying that because again, that I match it. It's like, it's, it's just not really for a kitchen. I think it's a beautiful color. I just wouldn't have used it for the cabinets. I would have done one statement wall and that's it. And in fact, this red does not really go with pink. And that's kind of like the vibe of the house. I actually don't mind this funky bathroom. I like I like these black and white tiles. Very nice. And they use like a blue color that I enjoy, like for like the walls and whatnot, just to break it up a little bit. The dining room again is super empty. I'm very disappointed with that. And yeah, it is a little bit too big, but let's go upstairs and see if the oh my God, another living room. Really? I've noticed like a lot of like really effeminate details. Like you have like the floral pink couches, like you have it down here as well, like the bright red kitchen, the pink office chair and stuff, which I think is like nice as a style, but I think they overdid it a little too much and they put it in the wrong places. Like for example, for like for this bed, you would have a white sheet and then you'd have a colorful floral comforter, right? Like you wouldn't really have the opposite, I don't think. Once again, I only see a bathtub in this house. Is there a shower? There is no shower in this house either. My goodness, what are they doing to me? Yeah, and like the third floor, it's like it's nice that they squeeze it in, but it's just kind of like a generic bedroom or whatever. Why is he talking to her? Oh my God, there's like a ghost in this house. I have no idea what's going on, but we're really only here for the build. So that's what I'm worrying about. I do appreciate that they chose some things because again, one of my main problems with EA is when they don't do enough, when I'm trying to pull it out of them. Sometimes they like really overdo it and make it super ugly. I don't think like they did that here. They just made like a couple iffy choices here and there, but I appreciate the use of color. I appreciate the individuality of the home and I'm going to give it a 7.5. Once again, I have to bring credit to like the types of colors. Like even if I don't like the red kitchen, I love this shade of red. I love this shade of purple. I love this shade of teal. Like they really pick 
get good colors in Aurora Skies, so well done. Next up is the Hostility Free Hostel. What the hell does that mean? It just sounds so like passive aggressive, like murders don't happen here. You know what I mean? Like it's a little bit too on the nose. Anyway, let's just talk about this. So these are like four like young myth, like mismatched people and they end up in this hostel, which apparently is a four story mansion by the looks of it. They use a bright white and a pale green, which is, hmm, I don't know if it's really for me. It's not really my kind of color scheme, but we are back to the symmetrical windows which is a nice thing to see. And I noticed that they use the blinds that I really like on the windows. I can see that through them. This side is fully symmetrical too. Well done. Like, th like there's actually a lot of buildings that look like this in Iceland and even in some European countries as well. So I don't know, like even if I don't like it, I've definitely seen something like this before. So let's jump inside to this monstrosity and see what we get. Okay, so we have gender color-coded bathrooms. Oh my God, a urinal. That's actually a really nice touch because it's supposed to be a hostel, like a communal space. So that actually makes a lot of sense they have a desk at the front they use again this like this shelf with all of these like decorations i'm gonna be using this all the time i can't wait and yeah as big as i think the living space is i don't think it's too big because it is a communal space and it's meant to be used like that like, there, like i guess theoretically you could have like eight or 12 people in here mm, the bathroom sink in the kitchen i see you ea nothing gets past me okay let's go upstairs anyone notice the second i hit the upstairs button it was a green bathroom and in fact there's two green bathrooms next to each other neither of them have have a shower neither of them have a toilet paper roll but they do have a bathroom cabinet which is really nice i actually like how it's like split down the middle and like each room is like a mirror of the other one because that's very realistic for like hotels and hostels and like other accommodations like that yes and in fact they decided to make every bathroom green and with every bathroom not having a shower my goodness wow six bathrooms oh my god i can't even see anything else i mean the bedrooms themselves i guess it's best to just look at it from like a bird's eye view so each bedroom has its own little splash of personality, but of course they included green bathrooms in every room for me to see. I do admit, I really appreciate the concept. I like the idea of a hostel. I think it's very Icelandic and like goes really well in with like the urban center of the part here. And yeah, it's got symmetrical windows, but I think the white is too white. I think it should be like toned down a little bit. The green roof is not working. The green bathrooms are not working. There's 75% of the bathrooms in this eight bathroom house are green. I like, I have to cap it at a four. Like it really has some good good ideas and like Aurora Skies has been really good for the storylines and stuff but like those colors inside just not for me and I think that they could have made it a little bit more hostile like if you know what I mean this is this is a little too days in for me and last but not least is human habitat. Okay, so it's definitely symmetrical, but oh, except maybe the door a little bit, but that's okay. But I mean like the windows at the top, they didn't go all the way across, well they did on the side, but like they do little bump outs and break it up a little bit. Again, they're like, they're kind of diverting away from like the typical style. Oh, we can see our first house next door. That's kind of interesting. But yeah, like as you can see, like when you zoom out, it's just like little changes, like a, like a missing window here, a, a shifted door there, you know, just like little tiny things. And I really do like the bump outs. Oh my God, they have like nice backyard spaces and all these city houses. These are my favorite. But yeah, like the gray color is fine. The blue roof is fine. It's not as offensive as I would say like the green roofed houses, but I mean, it's still not my favorite. I think they could have done well with like a, like a slightly different blue. Just play with the color wheel a little bit. Maybe like push it to the green side a little bit. You know, you know me, I, I like my teal, but whatever. Let's jump inside. Okay, the first thing I see is this carpet and this color palette. I think this is exciting exquisite. This is absolutely my style of color. I love it. I think it's like, I think it's just like the right amounts and the right brightnesses. I love this kitchen, stainless steel. I even like the blue microwave a little bit. It's kind of interesting. And it's like a little bit more on the modern side because we are in the downtown. Ooh, the TV room is separate and small. I don't hate that either. Like kind of keep the TV off to the side. Yeah, I like that. Okay. So in the dining room, instead of an end table, they've decided to put a clothes dresser and a Venus de Milo statue with a peculiar horrifically ugly pattern so I'm not sure what that's about I would have just went with this painting I think this painting is beautiful and like would have been enough okay let's jump upstairs okay now this is a bathroom this is a sims 4 like cheapest bathroom tile color but I absolutely love it it works really well I know it's missing a shower but I do like this bathtub it's a little bit more fancy and they put little details like the makeup and the perfume and like I don't know like I think I'm feeling it the office is separate and a little messy it's very like lightly feminine like, you know, like little colorful touches. My goodness, look how big this house is. I didn't think, I thought this was going to be it because it's only her who lives here. Looks like she wants a family. Now, looking at these colors, this is a Sims 4 fuchsia bed 
which is not necessarily a good thing. And these colors, hmm, I've seen these colors in The Sims 4 as well, but it's really not for me. The bathtub is kind of ugly and like it's not sticking into the walls. These pipes are sticking out. I think this is the worst floor. I would have honestly, I would have just taken this house and just cut off the third floor because that's where my window problem started. That's where my color problem started. That's kind of where it all went downhill for me. But yeah, coming back out again, gorgeous use of color like that. That carpet when we first walked in, that alone is like enough for me to give it a couple points because they really do really well with the balancing of different colors for the most part, and they know how to not overdo it. That being said, there are a few things that still bother me about this house. I'm not sure. I'm kind of conflicted. I'm kind of like thinking eight and then I'm thinking five or six. So why don't we just meet in the middle and give it a seven? Even the sevens in this world are getting them for different reasons. Like some it's because it's too boring and some because it's too much and some just because like I don't really know what else to do. So here we are. Well, that does it for the first half of Aurora Skies. What did you guys think? I was actually kind of surprised that it wasn't as ugly as I thought. I thought for sure that these blocky houses were going to drive me crazy. But for the most part, like the insides and the colors that they're choosing, they've been really doing the trick for me and just like making me appreciate like the vast landscaping with just simple colorful houses kind of dotted around, you know? But we are only halfway through and we did see like a chunk of these houses, which were kind of on my favorite side. So we'll have to see how the more rural land landscapes play out in the next episode. Oh yeah, and by the way, this world only has 22 houses to cover, so we're only doing two episodes for Aurora Skies. So we did 11 this time and 11 next time. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give this video a like and don't forget to subscribe for some more Sims content. We're almost done all the worlds. Like, what are we gonna do when we're finished? Actually, I already know. I, we're almost done all of the worlds. I can't believe it. This has been such a journey, but don't worry. I do have some plans, like, you know, so that way we can do a season two and figure everything out. But always let me know in the comments down below any suggestions that you might have. Thanks again. I just think it's so pretty. I'm so excited for the next one. See you then. Boom.